I have been in this journey of photography for over 13 years and still now happens to me that I struggle sometimes when I have to find the best pictures for a portfolio or I have to edit down a project for a magazine or for a gallery and that's normal. I think that this is something that happens to many of us and it's for a good reason. When we see our photographs, we instantly remember the smells and the excitement of the moment, the weather, the people that we met. That makes us not objective with our own photographs. That's why in this episode I'm going to give you some guidelines, some tips that I use for myself to decide if your pictures are good or not and how to find your best of the best. Okay, so I'm going to start first with composition. Composition is the language that you use to guide the viewer through a frame, to tell them what's important, what's less important. Also, composition is part of who you are as a photographer, is part of your voice, is your style, is how you see. I will tell you to start with the basic. Look for something like rule thirds uh, that everybody does and everybody knows. Why I tell you that? Well, because we have to start to look for good pictures with a good base and a formal composition with a good rule of thirds is going to be already solid because of that. Maybe you're a photographer that is looking for more complex things. Then you can start to look for diagonals and frames within a frame or layers and geometrics and all of that kind of stuff, that's fine. But start with a solid base. The second thing that I will look for is the light, the quality of light. So photography means literally drawing with light. So it's one of the pillars of, of photography, the understanding and the use of light. And it's quite important because the light that you're choosing to photograph is going to tell the viewer how it feels to be there. It talks about the atmosphere, talks about the mood of the situation and the picture. So it's going to enhance the composition that you're making, but also, and we will talk about this later, about the story, about the moment that you are capturing, basically. And talking about light, I don't mean that it has to be a very a specific kind of light. I mean that it has to have quality. Uh, it doesn't matter if you prefer to have hard shadows and high contrast photographs, or you prefer to photograph in the blue hour, for example, where the light is softer, that's, that's fine. But there is going to be a difference between bad quality of light and good quality of light. It doesn't matter what time of the day you are photographing. Of course, there are moments that are more interesting, as you can imagine, golden hour, blue hour. But if you are looking for that kind of softer light, and you have to do pictures in the middle of the day when you have those hard shadows, for example, maybe it's a good moment to go inside and try to do portraits or interior situations, stuff like that. Let's talk about the other pillar of photography. As you probably know, there are three basic pillars that makes a photograph good. That is going to be, as we said, composition, the light, and the third one will be the moment, the famous decisive moment, which is tricky, and I think that it deserves a video itself that we will make in the future. 
but when we are looking to make these great single pictures, we need something to happen there. We are explaining how it feels through light, how is the dynamics of the place through composition maybe, and what what's happening. It's going to be also a basic, needs to be something happening. Can be a look, can be um, an interesting interaction, something subtle. Also can be something more dynamic, uh, obviously. But don't think that this moment that you need to have needs to be extraordinary. It can be something subtle. Of course, in all of these things, you have to be honest with yourself. And if there is one of these points that you don't have in the picture, it can be a solid picture. But if you have a great composition with a beautiful light, but there is nothing happening, well, there is nothing happening. And if you have a great composition with an interesting moment, but the light is just not helping the the picture, the framing, the story also is going to lack something. And, and it doesn't matter. What is interesting, I think, is just to realize that you can get better with something and look for it the next time that you are going to go to photograph. That's a good thing. I also have a couple of extra tips that I think are, are interesting. One of them is related with composition. Um, the, which is the understanding of the difference between framing and composing and is related especially with the background. If you want to be sophisticated and intentional with your photography, you need to look for what it's inside obviously of the frame, but you need to think about why you're leaving some stuff outside the frame as well. The point is that everything that is in the frame needs to be there for a reason. And one of those things that is going to be in the frame is going to be the background. If you want to do layered pictures or if you are doing a portrait, for example, and there is a branch growing from the head of someone, it's going to be probably distracting. So be careful on how your backgrounds are, if they help the picture or not, and pay attention to it. The last thing that I will say is that forget about image quality and noise and all that kind of stuff. In the real world, no, nobody really cares about those things. I will say that don't limit yourself with those things and experiment with uh, movement and with bad lighting because maybe there is where you're going to find your best.